So here we have the Mini Cooper Auto Countryman on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and the black roof and mirror caps. We're going to start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see we have reversing sensors plenty of boot space as well and three individually folding rear seats uh, those rear seats also slide forwards and backwards as two separate units uh, that is so that you can either increase the boot space or the rear passenger legroom okay so now that we've done a full circle of the car you can see that it's in fantastic condition the whole way around just briefly before we climb in, I think it's where we've seen the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are in great condition. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so you can see that we've got the uh, rev counter and then a digital readout for the speedometer in the middle of that section. Uh, at the bottom, you can see the total miles on this car, which are 11,555. You can change the information that's displayed above that. Various bits of basic info, uh, like the time and temperature, as you can see, and then you've got menus uh, in that set and info section. Moving over into the center, we have the main speedometer for the car, the fuel gauge just here, and then we've got the stereo. So if we press the mode button, you're able to see this car's got AM, FM radio, DAB digital radio, a CD player, auxiliary input, and USB input. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. You can also pair up your phone from here so you can make and receive phone calls. You can change things like the time, the language the car is set up in, temperature, etc., all from there as well. Below that, we have the CD player for the car and then air conditioning. So fan speed is adjustable on the left, temperature over on the right here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed and then hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. Same again to turn it off. You can also recirculate the air that's in the car with uh, that button there. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature that you set on this dial here, of course. And then we've got the rear heated screen. Below that, we've got various buttons, starting from the right-hand side. This one is the front and rear fog lights for the car. That's the deadlocks, so that locks the car doors from the outside. And that one turns off the traction control in this car. Under that cap, we have a 12 volt charging socket and then the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.